Welcome back, Horlings, to more Inquisitor. Heading to the Glatzberg place of execution. <clears throat> It is time to find the fallen angel Baphomet. Sounds like this dungeon's gonna be good. <laughs> Fucking ghost. <laughs> the fallen angel Baphomet has really been summoned. This must be the portal leading to the earthly kingdom of madness. The cursed book of Libra and Economicon should be able to open this portal. May God prevail. <laughs> Here we go with the bullshit. I'll leave, go get potions, sell, and come back. <laughs> Leave the last one. <clears throat> I want to make sure we leave that backup save in case, for whatever reason, I cannot get out of here. Bastard of Chaos. Alright, this is going to get confusing as fuck because there's tons of teleporters everywhere. So this is going to be a doozy of a level. Guess the best thing I can do is try to clear enemies. Why did Diablo just fucking die? Oh, of course. Because a killer baby spawned and fucking destroyed them. Yeah. 
stupid fucking mutt. Please tell me I can leave them there and just teleport without them. Oh wait, I can't leave them there. Back. Teleportation time, fuck my life. Do damage quick. You gotta really keep an eye on that shit. off the lava, you jackass. Killer babies. Love all the random little arms that pop out of the ground. Shit's pretty awesome. I guess 
I'm glad I have somewhat of a map here because this looks like it'd be a pain in the ass without one at all. Not magical. Would be blue when I picked it up. Test out some of these teleporters, see where I get end up. Luckily, I don't need my party. Ow! Oh! Name is last words. And we got respawning bastards. Respawn like a motherfucker. grind there. That's going to put us at a door that we need a key to first. So we're going to need to backtrack. Pardon me for the pausing and stuff. I'm just trying to get us through this dungeon as fast as possible by consulting my mishaps. lever here that's really hard to see. We're going to actually have to use our levitate spell here to get across pits. Kill certain knights in this dungeon as well for keys. Oh, this guy's permanently fucking me up. Ah, fuck me. Okay, so we need these guys.
get at this lever again just in case. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> Luckily, we all levitate, so. Wizards low on mana. I'm attacking homeboy oh here. This guy's got mega fucking resistance. Decreased you down to zero. All right, twenty one experience. Got some magic shit. Probably a good time to summon a genie, sell magic stuff. Looks like I escaped any penalty here. Got plenty of genies, so we're good on that. I'll pause the camera while I'm shopping. some uh, potions and shit. I'm going to move this stuff around so I don't accidentally pawn it. It's just stuff I'm not sure if I want to keep or sell at this point. Maybe that doesn't work. It's okay. We want to go back where we were, actually. You guys had to get smoked.
these bitches will be right back and we're back Good dog down. Actually, the boss's level. Baphomet is behind this door somewhere, but we can't get to him because we need this key first. Too, that's for sure. <laughs> Drop the bullshit. shit's pretty cool. It hurts everything. So we're on level G now. The way this is divided, it's A through G. And these teleports take you through all these different levels, and uh, if you didn't have a map laid out like I do, and do a little bit of research, you'd probably be in here a good couple fucking hours at least. Mapping it all out, figuring out where to go. We're going to need the meat shields.
chaos. These guys do deck damage, so I'm good. Should be at 81. This guy gives us the key, I believe, to the boss. If we manage to pull this off, I would say this would probably be the shortest run through this dungeon ever. There are other keys you can get and a ton of levers to pull. And I'm honestly not sure what they do because these maps I have are pretty basic. But we'll see what happens. Could be a lot of red herrings and shit in this dungeon. He drops it on the fucking lava. I mean, this stuff kind of sucks. I really don't even want to waste a genie summoning. Is this any better? No, this is bullshit. This is all kind of shitty stuff. In fact, I don't need gold. If it's not unique, I'm tossing it. I like that spear, so I'm keeping that. Plus seven dollar tributes. I like that. Upgrade. Better than plus 25 chance to hit plus 6 speed, I think. Plus 7 to everything. Plus 8 dollar tributes. Plus 17 chance to hit. Yeah. Let's trade those out. I mean, yeah, the armory, army use plus 1 and defense plus 1 is helpful, but... Not that helpful. Step up from green, anyways. Now we got some pretty sick strength. Can't really change anything here. I could pump up my enemy estimation. basically hanging on to those two skill points in case I come across another shine, shrine that gives me another two and then I can pump a full four into melee or, rank, or armor use, things like that will actually give me a benefit. Right now, putting two into those does nothing except make it two closer. Uh, so it's really not worth fucking with. Theory works. I think that's it. I think we're gonna get in here. This 
skip a lot of bullshit parts of this dungeon and I researched the maps and really didn't see any uh, items worth going out of my way for. Not in this chaos. Oh, there he is. Baphomet, now they're spelling it with an F. Sometimes with a P, sometimes with an F. You despicable nobody, nameless maggot, puny worm! How could you have dared into my realm? There's nothing other than madness, chaos, and unleashed depravity. And all this shall rampage upon the face of the earth when the gates of my palace open wide and my charities of doom and terror shall bring the demonic steeds forth to the whole world. Goodness gracious, Baphomet, the fallen angel. Look, even here. Typo. Yes, it is me. The gates were torn down. Hell unleashed, and I have entered into the mortal realm to squeeze all chaos and madness contained into the souls of men. You shall witness confusion beyond imagination, terror, and rupture of all things orderly. You shall witness the mighty word of Baphomet! I doubt that, demon. I shall stop you in your abominable endeavor and send you back to whence you came. <laughs> Do you really think your powers can stop me? Your human kind is even more wretched than I'd ever imagined. Your worthless souls are barely fit to decorate my palaces. Enough talking, demon. Soon the wrath of God will be upon you. You shall be cast back to the hellish sufferings in no time. All right, this guy just fucks up penalties. And he's like, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get ghost in the mix. Even attacking me? Stun the shit out of him or something. Whoa! He's doing that big AOE shit. I was waiting for that to come down the pipeline. Genie, fuck. Dude, if you run into the lava, I can't save you, bro. I should have left these two in the fucking other room. Got him. Temporarily dumb as fuck, but... Oh, this place is fucking... Wicked looking. We got our level. Pumping up intelligence. It's all we can do. Holy protection. Yeah, take it to level 20. Fuck it, why not? You need those resistances. And some chesticles, of course. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Jesus. Instant death. Feel so slow. <sighs> Keeping the genie box ammunition tight. Like, like a turtle. Hello. I'll give us some shit to sell. Need to wait for this slow to turn off, so we'll be right back when it does. All right, we gotta get the fuck out of here now. Can I do that without dying? Yes. Baphomet is dead. The last thing to do is to take out thirty folks and maybe possibly help Nicholas. I don't know. I'm not sure who to talk to. Fuck Nicholas. And actually, after we kill thirty, which we are going to go do now. Pretty sure we have time before the final encounter. Do some last minute researching. <clears throat> Other than that, I'm not sure who to talk to. So, where do we need to head now? Is the Devil's Hole back under Pandemonium? Back at Elrond. It'd be nice if Nicholas. What the hell? Oh. Yeah, I mean, being able to find... Looking for clues in here. Yeah, that was the last act. Nothing to go off of. Sweet! I found it! I did some research and I found out what to do. I must have accidentally erased the quest or deleted it or over overlooked it. Uh, we're in the right place, I think. 
We are looking for someone named Vanessa. Who should be right in this house? See, I can smell it. Nicholas claims he was wrongfully accused. I doubt there's anyone who hasn't heard the Grand Duchess Leanna Lambert was raped by the Hellspawn Nicholas a few weeks back. It was a story everyone was passing on. But unlike most of them, I didn't believe a single word of the Grand Duchess. I don't know if you've already had the opportunity to meet her, but she's a bitch, and I rest assured you she's the dirtiest woman I've ever seen. She's absolutely corrupt. She flirts with any man she meets, sometimes with any woman, and at the same time she plays innocent. Little white girl. I understand. Nevertheless, I need evidence. I doubt you'll be able to find any. The Grand Duchess is lying for some reason, and the fact that Father Nicholas could be arrested and sentenced leaves her calm. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about that would prove the Father Nicholas innocent. Wait a moment, Knight. Well, I've said I didn't know about anything that would prove Father Nicholas innocent, but that doesn't mean I can't help you. I'm sure that if you um, blackmailed her a bit, she would take her accusation back. How could I blackmail the Grand Duchess? I don't know anything that could be used. Well, I do. I know about a secret that'll surely help you. One night I managed to catch the Grand Duchess out in the city cemetery having quite wild sex with a certain man. Well, that would be shameful enough in itself. Nevertheless, it's even worse. Do you know who that man was? It was the priest, Marcius, the Archbishop's scribe and illuminator. The Grand Duchess is having an affair with the priest. Moreover, they're screwing in the cemetery. Disgusting. Mm, so you think that if I pounce on the Grand Duchess with this testimony of yours, she'll take back the accusation? It's quite likely that if you were to first try to get Marcius' testimony, if you threaten the Grand Duchess with Marcius going public about their affair, she'll have no other option than to take the accusation back. Thank you for your help, Duchess. You're welcome, Knight. I'll do anything to harm that bitch. If it were not, if it were not for her, I'd been in her position by now, by the side of the Grand Duke Lambert. That swine stole him from me. That's all we need, people. Fuck yes. We are gonna 100% this motherfucker. Yeah. Let's go find Marcius. Now we got a lead. We didn't say shit about this Vanessa lady. How the fuck was I supposed to know to talk to her? Did I completely miss something? Fucking believe I am coming to the end of Inquisitor. This will be a heavy weight lifted off thy shoulders. I learned you were a secret lover of Grand Duchess Leanna Lambert. Is that true? What are you saying, son? I'm the lover of the Grand Duchess, the wife of the Grand Duke. Are you mad? I'm a priest. I'm committed to celibate because of my services to God. How could I descend to something as awful as fornication? You've offended me, and the one who told you that is a foul liar. So you've never committed wild, pervert fornication with the Grand Duchess in the city cemetery? Although an eyewitness saw you there. In the city cemetery? Well, an eyewitness, you say? Whom exactly do you have in mind? That's none of your business. I'm not going to tell you the name. Damned! I knew I'd get in trouble because of that bitch. But she urged me so much that I succumbed to her. She's a mad, insatiable nifmo. And all the time she's avid for new perversities, I couldn't, I, I wasn't able to, and it was stronger than me. Please swear, son, that you won't tell anyone. Please, that would destroy me, and I have such a far-going plans. I won't speak my mind, you can trust me, though. Only in the case the Grand Duchess Leanna Lambert will take back her accusation of Father Nicholas. I understand. In that case, tell her that if she won't take back any funny accusation, I'll go myself straight to her husband and tell him everything that his beloved wife tricked him behind his back. Yes, that's exactly what I will do. But if she refuses, well, you're both fucked. She won't refuse, believe me. She'd rather die than lose her position. She's been working for many years to achieve it. I hope so. For your sake. Farewell. Got you now, bitch. Got you now. Got you by the clitoris. That dirty, rotten, stinky, tuna filled fish motherfucking clitoris of yours.
I want you to take back your accusation of Grand... of Nicholas, Grand Duchess. I already told you. Never. Not even in the case that otherwise revealed to your husband that you have a forbidden relationship with Father Malsius. But, but... Yes, you heard me well, bitch. If you don't take back your false accusation, I'll reveal to you, your husband, that you've indulged in monstrous debauchery in the city graveyard together with Priest Marcius. But that's blackmail, and you call yourself a knight. Yes, I do. But how do you decide, grand bitch? You don't have any proof against me. Nobody will believe you. Both me and Marcius will deny everything. <laughs> you stupid bitch. I doubt he will, Grand Duchess. Marcius confessed to your disgusting relationship, and he agreed. Your twat smells like fucking baked tuna under a Sunday sun in the hottest heat of Texas weather. I don't believe that. Marcius would never betray me. He's a real man in contrast to you, you poor cipher. I don't think so, Hooker. He stated that you had tempted him, and he was very sorry about that. He told me you are a rainless fornicatress, and nothing was sacred to you. That bastard, to cast me away so easily. May the stupid swine never get a hard on, all right. Let's do it your way. I'll take back my accusation. Anyways, he's a poor wretch. I wonder why I tried to have an affair with him after all. Excellent. I'm glad you agreed, whore. You lousy ferret. I like how you can continue to have a conversation with her. So, how's the weather? How's the weather been here lately? You fucking dirty skank. Managed to clear you of that false accusation. I really did. Glory to the Lord. My prayers were answered. Thank you, son. I'm much obliged to you. If you want, I'll join you at once in your fight against conspirators threatening the realm. All right, join me. Great, son. Together we will light the flames of justice in the place where brimstone and infernal feedingness are ruling. All right, three party members? Oh, this guy. I can't abide the presence of certain priests in your company. That's an unsurpassable obstacle for me now. I believe you because I can see good in your heart, but I don't know any other man. Because of the efforts of the Holy Office to do away with the Brotherhood, I cannot ally with someone like him. I really can't persuade you to think it over, brother. I'll have to part with you. But if you reconsider someday, don't hesitate to seek me out. You'll find me in Hillbrand. Well, look, I've had you the entire game, and I think whether this guy is... Oh, God, he's level 35? <laughs> that could be a problem unto itself. Fuck! They can't fucking make him my level? He's gonna get fucking annihilated. 146 hit points? He's got half the hit points of my dog. God damn it, I was hoping we could have both of them. Oh well, I'm gonna try him out for a little while anyways. We can always go get Hugo. If he does range attacks and he can manage to stay the fuck out of my way, that'd be alright. Or better yet, maybe he heals. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Because we are all like level 52. And he is level... You're going to fucking die real quick. Let's take him to the cemetery and see how he rolls. I'm going to save Surdy for the next video. 
Although we might get to her lair at least. He does a range attack, which is cool. The thing is, is he's level 30 fucking something 30. I don't think he's going to be of any use, unfortunately, guys. He's not going to get... The way leveling works in this, he's just not going to get to me in time. I think I'm going to go get Hugo back. I was really looking forward to having a new party member, but that's fucking stupid. They should have... He should have auto-scaled to my level. So, another shitty thing about this game. Yeah. Come on, you motherfucker. God damn, bitch. He's gonna go to walk through some of that lava in hell and just get fucking demolished. So, oh, he'd probably be up here by the Brotherhood. That's a bummer. Alright, he goes back. Sorry, priest, but at least your quest is done. And the last thing to do is to go chop off Surdy's head. And have sex with her decapitated demon body. Wait, what? Wrong stock, long chicks. It's blasphemy. Heresy. Literally at the end of the game here, we have to defeat the last of the fallen angels. And then we enter the royal tomb, which is the final dungeon of the game. I should probably shop first. Nicolette can help me out. I'd like to see your goods, bitch. Sucks. Honestly, I'm, I doubt I'm going to replace my sword, so fuck that thing. Six thousand go, motherfucker. What? Oh, I'm ready. 
Got plenty of fucking genies for this. Let's do the damn thing. Thank you guys for at least putting goddamn teleporters in there. So I don't have to completely redo the whole fucking levels. Walk through the entire dungeon. Sword now, bitch. Yeah, Hugo is uh, level 52. He also has 325 hit points. That levitates me like a son's a bitch. Uh-oh, Game Hoarder had an epiphany. <laughs> Could have been levitating over these lava and acid pits the whole game. Holy fuck. And I'm pretty sure one of the subscribers even told me that. Like, I'm positive somebody told me that. Golden. Fuck it, don't even care. God damn it, Diablos. He had to fucking die somewhere where I can't see your dead body. Commandani spoke the truth. This portal is the kingdom of Turtle Sin, where the succubus Surti resides. The curse book Libre and Necronomicon should be able to get me there. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> Snake preview, folks. those hurt. Alright folks, that wraps it up. We'll see you soon with Sturdy's Lair in the Pits of Pandemonium or whatever the fuck we are. Kingdom of Eternal Sin even. See you soon. <laughs>